Ladies and gentlemen of the universe, I am Darnell. I am Kazi. And we are back for episode 8 of Scramble. Hopefully you missed us, we missed you. Everything. Yeah, we did. You're not hot. Good. Okay, we got volleyball, hot. field hockey, hot. soccer, a lot of postseason action. With that being said, let's scramble. Ready, big baller? Yes, sir. All right. Let's start with field hockey. It was an emotional end to a rather fantastic season. In the A-10 semifinal, VCU faced off UMass at UMass in the semi. Unfortunate neutral site. But the Rams, unfortunately, could not get the result. Uh, they lost 2-0 to the Minute Women, ending their season. But the season was absolutely phenomenal. Definitely. I mean... For that field hockey team, Stacy Bean as the new head coach of the BC field hockey team. For the season they had, we talked previously about what five, rebuild? six, seven. That was their win total, respectively, for the past three years. What this rebuild? year they put up 14, and they were able to get to the A-10 finals. And got the most well, Semi-finals, excuse got, me. Yeah, and got the most wins since 1992. That's a hell of a rebuild, which Definitely. it really wasn't. <laughs> and you also had Emmy McNamara score 21 goals this season. Uh, a couple co-player of the week honors. So, yeah, they're going to be good for quite a while. Yeah, program definitely trending up. Exactly. Speaking of trending up, VC Women's Soccer was definitely trending until the A-10 final at Schwarzbacker Stadium. They did try to land the upset against the top-seeded LaSalle Explorers. Unfortunately, they could not, <laughs> losing 1-0 in double overtime in a very emotional and heartbreaking defeat. Yeah, and for that VCU soccer team, um, they were the seventh seed in that tournament. They, they, LaSalle was the they one. They almost pulled it off. They yeah, and they, all, it they off. played a week before that, and LaSalle got the win. Yeah. So basically, it came, ended up the same way, but they played much better. It was just that one breakaway mm -hmm. that happened within the final couple of minutes. Yeah, soccer is a high tempo sport and it can hit you at any moment and just it hit, like that and it hit at the worst time for women's soccer mm -hmm. um unfortunately no championship for them but they had a good season definitely and they were only those two players from this season amanda i'm sorry i'm gonna pronounce your name wrong amanda hellowa i'm sorry and also megan dale they're two big components of that team that they'll big, lose them that was a big game for her yeah, but they'll have a lot of players returning, yes. like field hockey, trending up. Oh, definitely going to be battling for the A-10 next season. Speaking of battling, currently in the A-10, we have men's soccer, who basically destroyed the Bonnies 4-1 in mm -hmm. the A-10 quarterfinal, as they got its worst backers because they were in the top four. Yep. Uh, the Luke Fatone Show is back, people. You also had Rafael Santos scoring, Sied Haji, Mr. Assist. Now scored his first goal of the season. Uh, Mario Sequeira didn't really have a out loud game and goal, but he no did his out. thing. I mean, yeah, he did concede, but they still won four to one and are looking really good heading to the semis. And they had just lost to St. Bonaventure a few days before oh, them I up know. at St. Bonaventure. Oh, I know. But they were able to get the win back here. Another great offensive performance from this team. 23 now, shots total. Yeah, so now going forward, semis and finals of the 18 championship coming up. That'll be great. Only thing we ask is that they win, they can get to the I, final I, and I, win. I just, I just want to win. Just get to the final and win. I want to see you guys get it. Don't, Please. Don't become like men's basketball. Please. Don't be like that. Don't be like that. Okay. Speaking of like that, volleyball. 24 straight yeah. <laughs> wins. Yeah. They have their title. They have now clen clinched their share of the a regular season title. Of course, they're going to want to win it outright. They still have a chance to do that. Mm -hmm. But they defeated Duquesne on the road 3-1. All right, let's go through this. Alicia Candler doing kills. Tori Baldwin with blocks and kills. Jasmine Steen doing blocks and kills. Rebecca Strange with digs. Medallion Simpson with digs. Gina Tazulo with blocks and kills. Daja Ard with 20 plus assists. Everything that you need to know about volleyball right there in the span of 30 seconds. They are good. Go support them. They're at Siegel. They play Davidson. I'm running out of breath and, I'm gonna, and I can't point at more because I lost energy. I can't have said it any better. With that being said, that wow. was, since he's out of breath, I can't do it by myself, but I will do it for Scramble Episode 8. Woo. I'm Darnell. Woo. I am Kazi.
Woo, you are Big classic. baller. Big baller. Worldwide. Man. All right. We'll, you'll catch your breath. We'll be back Woo. next week with Woo. a lot more Woo. DCU Sports. Until next Nature time, boy. follow us on Twitter, Woo. follow us on Facebook, Woo. like our video, subscribe to our channel, Woo. do all that good stuff, and we'll keep entertaining. Yeah.